Hey, how's it going? Swatch with me. Tim Holtz 30 Distress Crayons. Now, I bought these in 2019, and I paid $46.23 for them. Now, I just looked that up, so that's why I know that. Otherwise, I would like, I have no idea what I paid. And now, they sell for $68.99, plus $5.99 for shipping. Wow. That is, <laughs> wow. Over $20 more wow so if you're planning to get these you might want to wait maybe maybe they'll come down who knows i don't know but there are 30 crayons here and i have them in trays they come in five packs of six and i likely do not have the packaging anymore but if you know me, you're probably thinking, oh, no, you have the packaging. Maybe you don't have it right here, but <laughs> somewhere. Because they come in those vinyl, soft vinyl sheets, you know, or packages, rather. I don't know why I said sheets. <laughs> okay, so uh, I do not have these in the order that they come, like set one, two, three, four, five. I put them in my own order from white to black and I start with the I go the rainbow order uh, so we have in my order picket fence sponge sugar picked raspberry festive berries uh, candied apple dried marigold spiced marmalade rusty hinge antique linen squeezed lemonade and i just want to say that these are the same color colors that the distress oxides are in and the distress inks are in the, the ink pads and stuff like that fossilized amber <clears throat> mustard seed twisted citrone uh, cracked pistachio lucky clover peacock feathers peeled paint Tumbled Glass, Salty Ocean, Mermaid Lagoon, Chipped Sapphire, Seedless Preserve, Shaded Lilac, Wilted Violet, although that <laughs> looks like I spelled it witted, Wilted Violet, Frayed Burlap, Vintage Photo, Walnut Stain, Hickory Smoke, Pumice Stone, and Black Soot. Okay, and I put the little jobby there. I did not forget this time. And these are water soluble, so I'm going to show you what they look like in case you've never seen them. Have you ever seen these? All right. I know. <laughs> it's stuck. Oh. <laughs> Couldn't. It kind of twists out. And the gray one, I'll have to show you the gray one later, but the gray one is uh, kind of crooked there. The, the little tip is crooked. <laughs> okay, also, I'm trying out a new brush tub of sorts, and this is a brush cleaner. That's what it looks like. It's silicone on the base, and this plastic container has two areas so dirty water and clean water and then it has these little brush holders but not for this brush <laughs> i just found out that like i wonder if i could oh that kind of works <laughs> but yeah you know, um, it's got a little jobby at the bottom i don't know if you, yeah you can see that at the bottom there it's a uh, to clean your brush and it's it's supposed to be suction cup down of course the suction cup worked until I put the water in <laughs> right. but you're supposed to be able to mix your paints here I would not do that since it's on the purple or it's purple and not white so maybe make one that has a white base here anyway I like the purple you know I, got, I love purple so I got the purple one. So I'm going to try that out. And we're going to do this. I don't have a lot of room here. I never give myself enough room. I don't know why. Okay, I already got that wet. So let's see. 
Maybe once it dries. And, oh, there is kind of a white film there. And, oh, what's missing Tammy? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, here's something else. that I got the third set of scribble sticks. The Dina Wakely scribble sticks. So I have to do those. I haven't even unwrapped them yet. The third set has... I think it's pastels and metallics, I think it is. And they were on sale, which is why I bought them. So I'm going to have to do it with this one. And we'll do this. I'm going to zoom in a bit. Some people have said, oh, they, these have pretty good reviews, five and four star reviews. Some people said that they just didn't, they weren't as vibrant. So I guess I'll find out when I, what have I used these for? I don't think I've used them. Wow, that, that does not show up at, <laughs> did I get anything on there? Yes, I think, hard to see. Put it on my black compression glove. I'm sorry, not on my glove. I should probably... Wait, these aren't distress ink, so are distress. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> ink tense blocks. Oh, this doesn't show up very well at all on the black. So I'm glad I didn't put the black, a black strip of paper down. And we do the dirty water and clean. That that is horrible. Stay down. Thank you. And I assume these edges here are for wiping the brush off. And then um, that. Um, this is going to take me forever at this rate. And then bring it down. Put the cap back on. I'm going to do it this way so I don't confuse myself. I will. It's very easy. I'm going to zoom in. Okay, so... Oh, that is very, uh, very wet there. There's a lot, there's a lot of paint on that. I do need a paper towel. So let's see if I can bring that out a little more. The, the, what you can see is the drawn on or colored on directly from the the stick the crayon to the paper without adding water to it and that's at at the top there that's what you can see on the black so let me grab a paper towel have i shown you my paper towel holder this is my paper towel holder it's a lens case and there are my paper towels we we'll go with sponge sugar. I'm going to come down a little more. Since I zoomed out to show you my paper towel holder. <laughs> oh my gosh. They are creamy, even after, you know, I've had these since 2019. Very creamy. I'm using uh, 140 pound cold press watercolor paper by Fabriano. It's, I think I just read it on the cover, like 25% cotton. So not in, not 100% cotton. I'm okay with that. Okay, we'll get some water. Oh, you know, when you add water to watercolor crayons, it uh, kind of dissipates or dilutes the color. Dissipates. Not quite dissipates. <laughs> Maybe dilutes. This is a handy little thing.
if you see any cat hairs on my glove, I, well, <laughs> I'm not going to apologize because, you know, I have cats. These gloves pick up the hair very quickly. Now, I was really expecting, maybe there's too much water on it or something. I was expecting more color. Silly me. Is it silly of me to say that? Let's pick that up. There's way too much water. Now, let's brush the... No. Maybe it'll dry darker. <laughs> That's almost never the case with color. Usually it dries lighter. This could take me a while, and I will have to fast forward. I hope you don't mind. They do feel nice and soft. I mean, what what are they? How old are they now? <laughs> Seven years old? Six years old? Five years old? Five years old. That's sad. <laughs> it's sad that I don't know the math. Oh. I don't really coloring the water all that much with it, which I find strange. There's no water in my brush pen, by the way, in my water brush pen. There's almost no... There's... I very rarely put water in the tank, is what I should say. I don't trust myself with the control. I went very close there. <laughs> I have no control. I just get so excited and everything. I like the plastic barrel so I don't have to worry about if it like a colored pencil or a watercolor pencil getting the wood wet or anything like that. I don't have to worry about that here. Oh. Bubbly, you know. I did dab that on the paper towel first. These aren't cooperating with me. I see bubbles. I don't know. I don't know about these things. <laughs> I'm sure I can do something with them. Make background papers with them. Okay, this one is festive berries. Some of them are stuck. What's up with that? I mean, I know, what, five years old, but they're still going on, like, lipstick. Very smooth and creamy. Oh, wait. Let's see if I cleaned off the brush enough. I'm getting a pink tint now on my... What used to be white synthetic bristles. Oh yeah, that looks purple in, <laughs> in the field monitor. What I, how did I get those hairs on there? Yeah. Yeah, I like that.
Is this red? Really? I'm expecting a deeper color there. That is very watery. Let's bring it out. I have to make my speed boats. Those are kind of crooked after a while. Interesting. But they still work. Candied apple. That is so strange. Maybe I should just do a little bit here. I don't know. <laughs> is this what? I think the plastic, the first plastic container, the dirty water side, is actually too deep, maybe for this brush, which isn't very long, if you think about it, like when you're looking at it. I think it's too long, it's too deep for this brush. And the water might be, well, that... Ah, uh, never mind, because the water would get into the ferrule anyway, and kind of hang there for a while, and then come down. That's what I was thinking. Maybe that was the problem here, but that's not too bad. Candied apple. I don't like that the the brush cleaner on the bottom is coming up. It's not staying suction cup down. That's not good at all. See it? This has never been used, so you see how, how far down it is there? And... You kind of have to to bring it in too like too tight to loosen it to get it going. It's not acceptable at all. That little cleaner at the bottom. I wonder if there's a coating on these. See how often I think about these things after I start my swatching. Too much water. I want that to be much darker when I hit it with the water, and it's not. Like that one. Candied apple was like that. Nice and dark and vivid and bright and... I just never know. It's like the one, one of the the colors of the gelatos. Oh, which one was that? Uh, the pear one. 
What was that called? Iced pear. Oh my gosh, I could barely see that color. Okay, now we're going to fast forward because it's probably been a long time already. <laughs> oh no, it's only been about 20 minutes.
Okay. Frayed burlap. I just, when I went through this one, I spent way too much time on it. Maybe you saw me going back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> and I thought, stop. Just stop already. Oh, I get carried away. I want to skip a step. I want to skip this step for some reason. Free burlap. That looks like very similar to peeled paint. It's only a little bit darker. I was hoping for maybe a brown there. Braid burlap. What was I thinking? <laughs> uh, it's not too bad, right? Okay, so I think I figured out maybe how to do these distressed crayons as far as swatching goes. <laughs> I'm almost done. I'm almost done with this. And that is to clean the brush. So just clean the brush. And kind of dab it a little after. So I'll show you. I don't care. I haven't had any sticking until after fast forwarding. Very interesting. Also going out a little on that and then doing a short one here for brushing it. Okay, so this is... I've already rinsed the brush, already cleaned it, and now I just do a dab on the paper towel, and then I brush the the stick or the crayon with the paintbrush. And then I put it down, and I get a better color that way. It's not super diluted. Now, some of these are very light, like this uh, tumbled glass one. Very light. And I was like, man, why is that? I don't like that at all. <laughs> like, I just don't like it. That was irritating me. Also, because these are so creamy, uh, I will likely, once I start using them more and more, I will go through them more quickly. Now, whether I decide to invest in a new set... I I probably will not invest in a new set because well we have to think about the plastic that uh, so the barrels I like that they're plastic but I don't think there are refills for these I don't think they were meant to be refilled so that's a waste of plastic right there I'm sure I can figure out something maybe I can use it as pencil holders hey I'm going to dry it. Did I rinse this? Did I clean it? I don't know. I'm talking. I'm not paying attention. <laughs> not paying attention. Pencil holders. I'll try that. For the, maybe the thinner pencils? I don't know. It makes me want to use them up faster just to see if <laughs> it works. Dab it on the paper towel and brush the stick. I'm sorry, the crayon. All these companies have different names for these things. Not too bad. If any of that's too loud, according to the editor, you know, putting the pencils or the crayons back on the on my trays, then I'll just lower the volume for that part a little bit for you. Some of you might actually be listening with headphones on, and I'm sure that's kind of jolting to hear a sudden plastic sound, <laughs> plastic on plastic sound.
Let me move this up a little. Now these these colors aren't too bad. They're much more vivid when they go on dry, and that kind of makes sense, right? That makes a lot of sense to me. Okay. I'm losing my head here. So I will definitely have to experiment. I'm more into the exploring. This is pumice stone. I like, oh, this is, I think this is the one that's, was this the one that's super crooked? Like super crooked. I feel like it's getting ready to tumble over on me here. Dab it on the paper towel and brush the crayon. Oh yeah, that's way better. That would be like a warm gray. Cool gray, warm gray. Interesting. Or maybe the... <laughs> I can't tell. It's too late. It's past my bedtime. Last one coming up. Black soot. They're kind of all crooked, which makes me wonder, where did I have these? Man, that <laughs> looks... I don't know if you, how well you can see that. <laughs> Crazy. Now this is the only one that doesn't, it's not going on so super smoothly or a creamy like, that's weird too. That's kind of strange. Did I clean this? I don't even remember. Dab it. Brush it. Oh no, that is super wet still. A letdown. I wanted that to be blacker. What was the other color? Was it the... Uh, go back a couple of swatching videos. What did I do? Let's see, the last one was... Sergeant Art watercolor pencils, right? Was that the one, maybe? Or what was the one before that? Oh, man. I like right there on the tip of my tongue. I can't think of it. Okay, I'm going to show you the murky water. And you can tell me if you think... Do you think the water should be murkier? <laughs> or if it's just murky enough? I put 30 colors in that water. I'm going, I'm going to do that one first. Oh, can you see it? Can you kind of see the... Oh, no, maybe you can't. Maybe I'm seeing things. Yes, you can. In the field monitor, in the screen panel, I can see the the brush cleaner. But in the field monitor, no, I cannot see it at all. That's, that's so strange. I'm so uh, like uh, amazed with the field monitor, how, how different it is. In, uh, it's not like vastly different in color. It's still showing all of the colors, but like uh, like this one, which is candied apple. It, that just looks like your basic red, right? Uh, well, it's more of an orangey color in my field monitor. 
I'm sorry, I'm being loud here. <laughs> Washing the brush off. And it's just it's just red. But orange in the screen monitor, like a dark orange. Like maybe more closer to maybe vermilion red than red. Okay. I'll get on with it. Thank you, by the way, for subscriber number 350. <laughs> what to say? During the Sergeant Art watercolor swatching, I think I said, I think it was that one, I said, I, oh no, maybe it was the one before that. I said, I have, in the video, I said, I have 350 subscribers. Yay! And when I was in editing and I checked it, I noticed that it went back, went back down to 349. So I put 349 with a little sad face. <laughs> and I went back in later to watch it. And there it was, 350. I'm like, yay, my 350's back. And now I'm saying it now when I go into editing later to put this on and to, you know, to edit the video. Um, I hope it says 350 <laughs> or higher would be great. Okay, so you can put your favorite color of this set in in the comments. I don't mind. Or you, like if you don't remember the if you can't remember the crazy creative colors you can just put I like purple I like blue I like green you know <laughs> whatever please comment like share and subscribe thanks for watching and have an artistic day bye